Hello my dear Sagittarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between April 16 and April 30, 2018 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. I have done my readings in the order of most viewed up till now but next time I will do the readings in the order of most liked so don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you want uh, your readings uh, to be among the first. Uh, I have put astrological information for the month of April in a video of its own that you can check out in my playlist Q&A. You can also find it at my webpage www.queenofcupstarot.se where you can find and buy all the decks I'm using in this video. There is a subscription service up on my webpage that you can take part of if you want to learn more about spiritual growth, yoga and tarot. So for this reading, I use the Osho Sen Tarot by Deva Padma and I will start shuffling your cards. Okay, so when I open your deck here, uh, I see um, in, in intensity, uh, intensity uh, sorry, and totality. I'm a little bit cold, so I have a problem with my voice. Uh, so I, uh, I have used this deck since uh, early 2000. Uh, and I haven't been using it for a while, so it's a little bit new to me for, for this year. Uh, but I'm used to do it uh, with reversals, uh, so I'm going to do it uh, with reversals for you as well. And here we have the Knight of Wands, <laughs> together with Five of Wands in the uh, upside down position. Uh, so it seems like you are uh, going somewhere in great haste, but you're not really aligned with yourself. You're not really in totality. So you can see these cards, uh, intensity, this is a person, uh, they are going very quickly towards their goal. Uh, but here you need to be not so quick. You need to be able to wait for the person that are about to take your hands on the other side. So uh, you need to be uh, not in speed, but in correct timing. Uh, so some of you um, Sagittarius is uh, too much in a hurry. Uh, you need to slow down. Uh, so you will be able to work this in perfect uh, synchronicity. Uh, for some of you, it might be also that you jump to conclusion and get uh, angry very quickly. And you might also here uh, have a good use of being able to calm down a little bit. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we see understanding, so uh, that it's um, uh, Page of Cups uh, together with the Five of Wands. And Page of Cups is about um, offering your heart to someone. And Totality is about working things out with other people. Uh, five of Wands is um, it's kind of conflict, uh, but uh, there's uh, this type of conflict that's supposed to lead to uh, spiritual growth. When you rub up against someone else's viewpoint, someone else's uh, state of mind, someone else's uh, dreams, someone else's uh, um, like how they are conditioned uh, and that's very um, very different uh, from you. And with the page of um, cups here you are uh, you are asked uh, to be uh, understanding uh, about this. You are asked to uh, to understand wh where the other person is is coming from, okay? Um, page of uh, Cups is also about taking yourself out of the cage uh, of domestication uh, for your heart. Uh, your heart has also lived underneath a lot of rules about what they should and shouldn't feel. Uh, and here you're asked to uh, become free. But it's also doves, so it's about peace and to bring peace to... Uh, your relationship, not by caving, you still need to stand tall and strong with yourself. But just um, since you have raised above a little bit, uh, you can have more compassion also for others. Uh, from this, it will come some kind of gift to you. Okay, uh, so uh, I call uh, the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the miser uh, together with uh, totality. So. Uh, when we want to win over another person or we want to uh, to be ahead of them or uh, we want to get more love than they do or get more of the out of the relationship than they do, 
uh, we become the miser. So uh, the four is four of pentacles. So it's about also about um, having uh, boundaries, too much boundaries or too little boundaries. Uh, or being too much in your comfort zone or too little in your comfort zone. Um, so you need to ask yourself, uh, am I giving too much or am I giving too little? You might be in a relationship with someone that gives too little and then you need to kind of hit the brakes and also back off a little bit. Um, and um, you can also try the other way, of course, if you haven't tried it, tried it and it's about giving more and see if the other person also will will give more. Um, sometimes we need to go ahead uh, the other person and show the way. But if it doesn't work, the other person just starts to take you for granted and, you know, steal your stuff, uh, then you need to back away. So it's like a game of fluids where we need to have a little bit of a dance. Uh, so it seems like uh, there might be someone being a little bit of a miser to you and doesn't want to cooperate with you. Uh, they, they don't want to share the love with you. You might see ways uh, with a page of cups uh, to how you could break free from old patterns and rise uh, uh, your vibration of love towards each other and become more unconditional in your love. A uh, page of wands is very open and vulnerable. But uh, here it's either you, Sagittarius, or the other person uh, that's not welcoming this and not uh, wanting to participate and, and doesn't want to play the game. It's like I have what I have. Um, we can see on this person they are kind of drying up because they, they need to always collect energy from the outside and also preserve their energy. So they are not in the flow. They are not in the totality. Uh, so they are not give and take in uh, equal measures and therefore uh, the person becomes um, like an undead almost. Okay, so if you see orbs <laughs> in my videos, uh, it can be spirits, yes, but uh, usually it's from, uh, uh, from the crystals in my ceiling when the uh, light comes through my roof ceiling. Okay, so I call the six elements uh, earth, wind. Uh, six of wands together with five of wands so it's about you need to become a very good example for others uh, not in the way that you cave um, uh, but in the way of either being like showing your strength so other can follow you and be strong too show your love so other can show their love too uh, show your ability to put boundaries so other can put those boundaries too. show your ability to open your heart so other people can open their heart too. so mm, you are in a position of um, uh, that's you have kind of high responsibility because it's all eyes on you and and uh, you have the capacity to uh, to fix this if you just slow down a little bit slow down with your uh, actions because you are uh, going at a great speed uh, so maybe this miser person can't uh, really keep up with you okay so uh, i call the six <laughs> elements <laughs> yes maturity uh, so uh, there's a possibility for a new prosperous beginning here something is in the air it's uh, spring is in the air there's possibility for uh, for a new start or for something being uh, fertilized or or uh, like um, a pregnancy uh, so um, become very mindful become very awake uh, go out from your reactive state and become more uh, inside of yourself listen always with half of your attention inside yourself and half of your attention to the other person so when you hear them speak listen carefully to what they say also uh, listen uh, to how it lands inside of you uh, and don't go immediately from uh, feeling to reaction. Say, okay, I hear what you're saying, uh, but I'm wondering this. And you can like slow down the process a little bit because it seems like there's a very precarious moment in time where you might need to have a lot of awareness to be able to, uh, to create the things that uh, you want in your life. Uh, so it's very, very beautiful, very prosperous. This is a, a beautiful possibility. So uh, <laughs> I call <laughs> so adventure. Uh, yeah, here we have a page of uh, coins together with 
uh, knight of coins so uh, it might be a person that you need to kind of lure out from their very care careful position of living in a tower living behind high thick walls living in their comfort zone uh, living in a place where they don't open their heart they don't show authenticity they don't show your their themselves and and now you have it's it's like you're um you're making another person or something inside of you your inner child maybe uh, to hope for a better future so maybe uh, to also put a little bit courage into this situation and and bet on it uh, so this is um, a little child going and and um, <laughs> kind of investigating uh, the garden on the back side of the house and it's very it's like the this great new world and they might have been sneaking away from uh, from their parents and uh, so it's a little bit of an adventure and uh, we see here with the turtle that it's uh, going slow uh, and uh, it it's it's like it's so new you need to take it step by step and you need to let another person also take it step by step don't judge them so hard for not being able to keep up the speed with you uh, some of you might be dealing with a, a earth sign or another uh, fire sign or a water sign is what i'm seeing uh, up till now and um, uh, you need to be this good example if you are to uh, be able to lure them out into this new prosperous spring uh, that is about to happen uh, so I will try again. <laughs> Six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, <laughs> spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading uh, for my dear Sagittarius viewers. So I want my dear Sagittarius to have love in their lives, um, inner voice, okay, and it comes in the reverse. So it's saying that you need to listen to your inner voice. It's... Uh, uh, it's uh, utterly, utterly important. So it's like being like Odin, have one of your eye in the wisdom well. So that means a little bit of your attention inside your body. Always see how you react to things. Your, in re your reaction lies a lot of answers to a lot of your questions and a lot of your pain and a lot of your trauma as well. This is the high priestess and she comes in the reverse. So it shows that you are not uh, totally aligned with yourself. This is being aligned with yourself. Uh, this is not being aligned with yourself. You're not in your center core uh, because um, it's in some area you're selling yourself off a little bit or you don't believe in yourself. You don't trust in yourself. Uh, you don't have to be your emotions. Uh, you don't have to react upon your emotions, but you need to listen very carefully to your emotion and always voice them uh, if there are, is another person there that's kind of putting up the re this um, reaction inside of you because it wants to be communicated. If it doesn't uh, uh, or you don't see it, you just let it pass by, it will get stuck in your beautiful central canal where the energy is going like... Um, uh, it's like a magnetic field uh, around you like this, like an apple, very beautiful. And if it gets a lot of things stuck inside of here, uh, it won't be able to flow like this. So you need to be mindful uh, about uh, not letting things just being uh, <laughs> hit underneath the rug. So, And here is you uh, pretending to be a sheep and you're really not. OK, because you're a little bit lazy, you want to have wonderful relationships. So you sell yourself off a little bit. Uh, so either or either you run away from the people uh, and they are too uh, slow and too careful to be able to keep up with you uh, or you compromise yourself to be able to stay. Don't do either or. OK, <laughs> so uh, so I want my uh, dear Sagittarius to have creative success and to be able to walk creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path uh, to your highest uh, destiny. So it comes to threes here in the end, uh, showing your beautiful capacity to unconditional uh, love. Unconditional love doesn't mean that you always let another person bully you. It means that uh, you show the love by showing your pure you. Okay, that's tr true love, uh, your pure you. Uh, not the tainted version of you, but the pure you. If you're angry, you tell them I'm angry. Uh, if you're happy with them, you tell them I'm happy with you. If you love them, you tell them I love you. 
you don't have to tell them maybe I hate you but you can say I'm uh, I'm angry with you because I feel like this and this you always take responsibility for whatever comes uh, inside of you it's not the other person's problem to uh, keep you feeling happy it's your uh, it's your responsibility you are responsible for your emotions and if you don't like uh, the emotional reaction you always get when you are with another person, you might need to move yourself out of that situation. Uh, because if you can't get along with a person, uh, you might need to get away from that person. It's like splitting, like uh, two energies need to split because you might have another road that you are supposed to go on and they are on a road that they are supposed to go on, but you are like preoccupied with bickering. Uh, so it's better if you split and then you can come back a little bit more wiser, maybe in a later state and uh, be able to sort things out. Okay, so I will tune in for a few seconds. So, my dear Sagittarius, this is your future, there, and this is your now, there, and this is the past. So, in the past, we have this card, the Outsider, so it's five of pentacles. Um, it's, um, it's like feeling left out in the cold, but we can see here uh, on this gateway that it's, um, it's actually not really locked, if you can see this. Uh, the, so <laughs> sometimes a people can person can be locked in in an unlocked room because they don't check the doors. Uh, so you have felt like an outsider, and why you have felt like an outsider? It's because you haven't been uh, aligned with yourself. You have been outside here, uh, and that is what you why you haven't felt at home because you haven't been able to align with yourself, love yourself, trust yourself. Uh, believe in yourself, listen to yourself, and therefore people, other people have left you out in the call too, because you did it first. Oh. Okay, uh, so uh, the past uh, might be Mars or first part of April, uh, this is second part of April, and here we have politics, so it's seven of swords. Uh, you or someone else is not being uh, authentic, not showing uh, the, their true face. Uh, so there can be situations also where people are fighting for uh, attention or fighting for being like the top dog and things. So there might be politics uh, or uh, gossips or uh, people manipulating or using their um, using their different skills to make another person feel left out in the cold. Uh, or a person might be acting like this because they feel left out in the cold. So with the seven politics, it's like a person not being uh, accurate. They might be keeping things away from you. You might be keeping things away from people. Uh, you might be um, s saying things that you really don't mean. Uh, or most things I'm feeling here is like a person holding back, maybe holding back with their love or holding back with, um, uh, with the beautiful things that they actually could say. Um, Seven of Swords is uh, like a little bit of a coward. We don't uh, show uh, who we really are, what we really want. And we can do this in the best intentions. We want to be polite. We want to be obedient. We want to work as a team. So we sell ourselves off our true authenticity. We are selling it off and we're saying, no, it's fine. Or yes, I'm up for that. Uh, and you really don't mean it. Uh, but you need to, you, you might going to pull through with it, uh, so you're honorable in that way, but uh, you really don't mean it, and uh, you're not showing uh, your true face to, to other people. Uh, so, okay. Um, this is the future, and here we have a page of swords, uh, the mind. Uh, so sometimes we really need the mind. The mind is a beautiful tool, but it's what it is. It's a tool. Uh, almost every person is addicted to thinking. Uh, the only way to stop being addicted to thinking is to become awakened. Uh, it's like a factory in there, constantly thinking, constantly brooding, constantly figuring out new solutions uh, to uh, <laughs> every problem uh, in your life. Uh, if you can feel your body... Uh, if you can stay with your body, 
uh, your mind won't be able to think so much. Uh, if you stay with the inside of your body, uh, uh, your uh, your pure essence, your you, is keeping catching up. Okay, because the mind can be very, it's like a, a machinery just going on like this, and uh, and your pure presence, your soul, uh, aren't able to keep up. Um, it's um, it's like you're running away from yourself with the thoughts in your head. Uh, many people, almost every person, is addicted to thinking. Uh, so, um, and it's no meaning to try to stop thinking. You need to be occupied with yourself with someone, something else, and it's uh, to feel your body. Feel your body from the inside. Starts with the warmth in your hands, let it spread toward your body. Pain is also a very good doorway to find your body. Uh, if you feel pain somewhere, uh, stay with it. It's the doorway into your consciousness. And um, the more you think, the more you add to the pain, the more you feel and stay with the feeling, the more you heal yourself because your I, uh, like um, your soul, is the I in I am. This is what I am. And your I, if you put attention to whatever you put attention to, uh, is uh, put, being underneath the loop of your light and uh, like your soul's light uh, so also put attention to the thoughts you can write them down uh, so I'm thinking this uh, I have this kind of problem going on in my head and I'm thinking I'm thinking so this is what I'm thinking and then you feel your body so you can have it in your phone talk to Siri or in the notes you write it down or you have a notebook with you whatever suits you and write down the thoughts and then leave them be and stay with your body uh, when you stay with your body um, you start to uh, you kick start your subconscious um, uh, your subconscious <laughs> machinery if I say so and it's much bigger this is just a little memory of the heart uh, of the computer that will like the awakened part of the computer and the subconscious is um, the hard drive so uh, when you stay with your body, you give the problem also over to the hard drive so it can, the subconscious can kind of digest the problem and out in a dream or just like a bright idea from uh, out of nowhere, there will come a solution. Um, and if it doesn't come a solution, that's fine too. Then it means you can't do anything about this now and it's no need to worry. Okay. So... Um, some uh, um, person might be deliberately want to keep you out in the cold and uh, it's like a method they use uh, to um, control you or um, like this they want to check your reaction they might look at you from afar and check your reaction how uh, they want you to not feel happy about yourself um, they have done certain things and uh, uh, they want to see what your reaction was and or it might be you that's doing this to someone but again this person isn't evil it's just a person that wants to fill their mountain the miser mountain with like oh that person hurt uh, when I left them or that person hurt with what I said to them so they're collecting this like stealing other people's energy or you might be doing that and it's not a big deal um, the best way to deal with this kind of situation is to uh, kind of ignore it and put yourself in the center. Uh, no one will be able to steal your energy then, okay? Uh, so here in the past, uh, we have uh, nothingness and it's in the reverse. So nothingness is the hero font card. So it's about being the Buddha and the going even deeper. Uh, it's kind of nirvana uh, uh, and uh, going even deeper it's uh, the nothingness before the Big Bang. Uh, and there, there was nothing except uh, the only one thing that we know is for real. And that's the I in the I am, the consciousness. We don't know if we were always conscious in the nothingness. Maybe uh, the whole creation were asleep. Or maybe there wasn't no creation. Maybe there was a true nothingness. So your, um, your problem here uh, with the past, this is five, this is five. Uh, uh, your problem is that you are identifying with what's going on on the outside. Uh, you're making it very personal. Like that person left me out on the cold. That person gossiped about me. Uh, that person uh, is spying on me or stalking me or want me to. Uh, have a reaction like with a page of sword um, and if you can put yourself in this state nothingness uh, like a blank space 
uh, you will be okay uh, and fine with uh, whatever happens, okay? Uh, so this is very scary for people. Uh, what if I disappear? What if I, I just... But you don't. The only thing that's real is your own uh, awareness. And sometimes when you go to sleep it's um, and you are in deep sleep without the dream part, no one really knows where you are, okay? So then there's nothing. And uh, you need to start to accept this nothingness. It's like die before you die. Start to um, find the true essence of you, the eternal essence of you. And uh, that's the way you put yourself a line in the center. And it doesn't really matter what happens on the outside because you're fine on the inside. Um, next card here is uh, cling clinging to the past. And it's um, five of cups. So it's a person being very disappointed about something happened in the past. And thus it's again throwing you out from your center. You could have been here, but now you're out here uh, clinging to the past. Um, seeing what these people did to me because the fives are connected with also not only uh, God and nothingness <laughs> and we can go deeper and deeper. We can uh, go as deep as you want down this rabbit hole, but we can go uh, up from it also. And in the end, there's other people like other sparks of the same soul, the same source, and they have made you very disappointed. But here, with both those uh, two cards in reverse, it's talking about you coming out of that, that state of reactiveness. Uh, you have five of cups. You also have five of coins in the bottom of that, uh, the past there. So um, it's like you start to learn this with not uh, being a victim to others. Always stay in your inside. You're not really fully there yet, but... Uh, you're about to get there okay so next card here is uh, nine of swords nine of swords is uh, sadness anxiety wanting things to be in another way than what they are and immediately you are put out here you're not in the center of yourself you are out here because you have a wish you want something to be in another way than what they are so you're not accepting the reality uh, and therefore you are in pain when you accept a reality, you can still be in pain, but you will be aligned with yourself. For example, if you have lost someone with a sorrow card, uh, you might have lost someone uh, either to death or them becoming your ex or not being your friend anymore or uh, you are not welcome to work anymore because they sacked you. Whatever it is, uh, if you can align with it, okay, so um, they died. They are not longer here or uh, she broke up with me. Uh, or my best friend uh, doesn't want to speak with me. It's acceptance. I accept that he is dead. I accept that she broke up with me. I accept that he doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Uh, when you accept, uh, even if you're sad, you put yourself in the center. Uh, and that is when you start to see the reality. And um, when there comes acceptance, there's also come this, uh, you disconnect from anxiety. You don't have to be anxious anymore. It is what it is. You will still be sad, but the sadness will kind of be an homage to whatever it is that you have experienced that you're now feeling the great loss of. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, it can also be the loss of energy. Someone still stole our dignity. Uh, someone made a number of us here and made us feel very disappointed and uh, they made us feel disaligned from source, but they didn't actually. They just made you aware that you already were disaligned from source. They made you aware that you were uh, already not um, voting for yourself, aligned with yourself, loving yourself, protecting yourself, standing up for yourself. So it was just uh, showing what was already there. Uh, okay. Uh, next card here is the winds of change. This is the wheel of fortune and you can see that there's a storm here uh, and if you put yourself center uh, you will be perfect alignment with your soul, the triangle and the yin and yang. The contradiction can be there both things at the same time. You can love a person, they can be gone. Uh, both um, the love and the non-manifestation can be that. It can drive a person crazy if they can't feel love without having to have it manifested in their lives. To love a person that's long gone, 
uh, or to long for something that you don't have, uh, it can make a person crazy as long as they are split into two pieces. But if you can uh, be okay with whatever is, yes, uh, I want to be married, but I don't have like a prospect to it. Or I want to have a, a job, but I don't have a job. Uh, I want to have my girlfriend back, but I don't have her and I love her. So you need to have be able to stand out <laughs> to be able to have both these things in your life. Uh, the want, the need, and, and the non-fulfillment. Uh, when you can accept uh, whatever is uh, in your reality, you put yourself center and in your soul. And when you're uh, like you're both your sides, the shadow and the light is allowed to be there uh, together with your soul. It's like it's unbeatable strength because then you are working uh, together with the divine in perfect synchronicity and you don't have to feel the storm if you don't want to. You can go out here and um, be anxious about, oh, I, I, I don't want to be alone, for example, uh, or you can put yourself here, I'm alone. Uh, I accept that I'm alone. Uh, and um, um, this is a big difference because if you're outside here, you will create a lot of havoc in your life. And a lot of like this storm will create other storms and it will be an ongoing rattle of storms and havoc and challenges. And if you put yourself here, um, you might still be challenged, <laughs> but you're not going to notice so much. Uh, you're going to be aware more of your beautiful inside and whatever is. Because sometimes we have a hard time to feeling our pain, but we can have a big hard time with feeling uh, our um, our love too, okay? It can be equally painful uh, to feel our love or to feel uh, our pain, okay? Uh, so, uh, I actually t took one card too many, but let's go with it. I'm usually just doing three card spread here, but okay. And here we have uh, the abundance card in the reverse. So it's uh, King of Pentacles, usually Capricorn. It might be Taurus or Virgo as well. Uh, you have a little bit of Virgo here connected to the Nine, the Hermit card. Uh, and with this uh, abundance card in the reverse, it's talking about uh, a person not being in their inner garden. Okay. And when you're not being in your inner garden, when you are in your inner garden, uh, you're fine no matter what happens because you have everything where you are. You're fully in love with yourself. You support yourself. Um, you stand up for yourself. All these things, what I have already said. Uh, but here it's like a little bit shaky with you because you don't want to feel the pain. Uh, so then you can't accept the love uh, either because you don't want to stay in your body. You're a fugitive from your body. So you're running away from it. You can see on this person's relaxed belly here and uh, that he's totally fine in his being he's totally relaxed there's no tension no anxiety uh, no waiting for what will happen he's here he's now he's breathing deeply uh, and and you are kind of not okay because you don't want to be where you are at and the divine is trying to call you in and to get you uh, in alignment uh, with them Okay, so this is your now, and we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So it's someone that has lost uh, patience with the pregnancy. Something wants to be born out of this situation, the, fa the nothingness from the scale to nothing to the people in your life. Uh, and you have lost patience with it, both with source and people in your life. <laughs> so um, you don't want to be pregnant anymore. Uh, to hell with it, <laughs> okay? And uh, yes, there's a lot of stress here. Seven of uh, Wands, uh, Seven of Pentacles. The Sevens are challenges. Uh, so uh, it's what we saw from the beginning that you are a little bit too high a speed. You want it and you want it now. You have a lot of get it now ideas and it's not making you happy because it's like I can't live if I can't if I don't get this. And you need to say, well, I can live even without getting this. I accept that I don't have it uh, to put yourself to peace to find your home inside uh, your belly, your heart, your throat chakra maybe, wherever you might find your center. And here we have uh, King of Swords in the reverse. So now you have both the King of uh, Earth and King of Swords and both are in the reverse. Uh, so you might have an air, 
or an um, earth person in, in your life. Um, these two fellows, when they are in the reverse, can be very, uh, very controlling. It's like a person don't let you into their uh, castle. Uh, and this is a person um, over controlling, like can't let go of control, needs to have everything in their way. So it's what I said in the last reading um, that they came a lot with uh, these two um, blocks, blokes here. It can be females as well. Uh, and I said this is the gardener and this is uh, the one gardening the, the doorway to the uh, <laughs> to the garden. So when they are in reverse here, it says that you are not aligned with yourself. And therefore, no one else lets you in either. So you're not let in on the fun uh, because you don't let yourself into paradise. It's your doing because you uh, can't be inside your own body. So as soon as you can, uh, there will be a different momentum. And, and the, the gates to paradise being watched by these swords uh, might say, yes, master, and let you in. Uh, so but um, for now, uh, you are on the outside because you are in this high stress feeling and and you can't uh, relax you can't stay with your body uh, so next card is beyond illusion and it comes underneath the uh, the wheel uh, winds of change and uh, uh, beyond illusion is the judgment day uh, so it's about seeing things from an above perspective you can run as many times as you want into the brick wall uh, all this stress, all the anxiety, all this, but I want it, I can't survive without it. It's not going to help you with anything. Uh, or you can just see it from the, uh, the uh, like, outside perspective. Uh, okay, I have been running into the br this brick wall a lot of times. I have hurt my head. I feel tired. Uh, I feel worn. I don't want to fight anymore. Uh, so that can be the way that you... Uh, give up and come home to yourself and stay inside yourself it's a butterfly here so it's showing that you're about to evolve uh, into the next level here uh, it's just that you are not let into the paradise and it's not by someone else making it's by your own making because you refuse to be in your body because your body is uh, totally stressed up out probably by you reminiscing about the trauma that you have been through again and again and again and again. Uh, so uh, your your body is in high alert and um, that make it impossible for you to take yourself into the uh, Garden of Eden. So what you do is, of course, to stay with this stress and just be with it. OK, I accept I'm full of stress. So how does that feel? And go in and investigate, see how it feels might feel like a racehorse in a start box before the race. And here we have uh, creativity. Uh, so when you wake up to the reality, you accept the reality, you see the reality, um, you are going to uh, be able to be let into your own paradise garden, your own body. Uh, so this is your creativity. This is all your talents, uh, all the things you are good at, all the unconditional love you have. Um, the love you have for yourself and other people, uh, the strength that you have, it's like the nature strength. You can chop uh, uh, a tree down and it will start growing anew. Uh, anyway, trees with leaves. <laughs> oh. And uh, so this is nature, very resilient, uh, very strong, uh, always happy to be alive. Okay, so it's coming some, some uh, other energy here with the winds of... Um, uh, change but it's is this um, this might be people in your life um, like not um, they're not interested in you they don't show love towards you and all you want is this person either this or this or both it might be like um, a person having different aspects in their chart it might be you also um, it's both it's both you and and the outside that's mirroring you uh, so as long as you don't let yourself in, no one else will let you in uh, through this paradise guard, garden either. And we have 777. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, so it's a lot of challenges for you right now. You have to face yourself. And the only way to do that is to stay with the inside and stay with what is. Uh, all the pain that's there, it's the doorway to uh, find yourself. It's the doorway into your own paradise. Uh, so pain isn't something bad, uh, it's a road sign, okay? Here it is, uh, this is what needs to be healed. Um, so 
go inside of yourself, hold uh, your pain's hand and just stay with it like a good parent would do to a child that has been hurt. Uh, the pain can run away. It can re be really hard to grasp your pain when you're trying to locate it in your body because it's very shy. You haven't loved it up till now. You have just abandoned it in the basement. Uh, you didn't care for it. Um, you hated it. You were scared of it. Uh, so it doesn't fa feel the love at all. Uh, so you might have to um run after it a little bit and the times when you are in immense pain is a good gift because then you are you will really know where the gateway is inside to your own paradise so you might need to stay with the pain for a long time you might have to stay with the pain for um months uh, one year two years uh, eventually like after one year you uh, you won't uh, feel pain as a problem anymore you won't run away from it. It might still linger pain, uh, but you just use it to process uh, and heal yourself. Because all humanity is going through a big gateway right now. Um, a big gateway of um, um, to clean uh, and purge uh, all, the, uh, all the things that have happened to you, your soul, up till now. So you might die a thousand deaths uh, these uh, years that have been and the years to come. Uh, died again and again and again it's like um, um, the divine is putting up a drama scene for you something that have happened in the year 1117 uh, where you um, uh, died in a hunting accident <laughs> and now you are in the same energy again the same uh, people uh, kind of acting in the same way what led up to this disaster you, you're not going to die in a hunting accident but you might feel the pain of it all uh, and then uh, two days later we are going to the year of uh, 12,032 where something else happened and it's going to be a lot of deaths like this and so the pain will be out of proportion to what you are experiencing so you might feel like you're dying but you're not and the pain is just frequencies and vibration uh, it's not going to kill you it's not dangerous uh, it's actually a, a treasure map uh, towards your treasure here becoming an enlightened person uh, okay, so this is your future and we have participation in, in, in the reverse. So you hope for something, probably commitment, uh, probably you waited for someone, someone slow, that's uh, kind of very dismissive towards you, keeps you out in the cold, lies to you or doesn't communicate with you, um, maybe doesn't let your you into their family or it's like you're being uh, treated a little bit like you have uh, leprosy or something. And uh, from the olden days, like how scared we were of people with leprosy. <laughs> and this is how you feel maybe right now. Or it might be how you do someone, treat someone else. Uh, so it means there's no participation. Here is a lot of uh, like hands uh, um, clinging through. This is with the fives. Uh, we are supposed to rub off on each other. Uh, we were... From, we were nothing and we exploded in the Big Bang and it's like millions of souls, like one soul became millions and billions of souls. Uh, and uh, here they are supposed to participate, uh, but they are not. And it's also fine, okay, but you don't feel it's fine. You want the participation um, or someone wants it at least. Uh, but it's it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And here we have the past lives. This is what I told you about this, uh, all these deaths that you are going through. And we have clinging to the past, uh, stress, uh, the seven of wands and past lives here. Uh, so you have tried to keep yourself preoccupied, maybe with your cell phone, uh, a lot of work, um, um, social activities or um, maybe watching telly or whatever uh, to not have to feel all these deaths. Uh, but you need to take each of a, one of them in their hands and, and bring them back to you, okay? Because, because they felt pain, uh, you have shunned them away. So they have all lived in the basement of you. Because as soon as you remember them, you felt their pain. So you suppressed it, suppressed it, suppressed it. But when you take them back, you take back a part of your soul. And you take back a part of your talents. So you will uh, be able to, uh, to do things that you weren't, uh, you didn't knew uh, know were possible. Okay, because you're getting back not only your pain, but also uh, lost abilities with you. 
so seven of wands is not only a bad card uh, <laughs> see here this monkey is going to <laughs> take down the balloon when this is you can also be the monkey okay that sees this and just starts to align with yourself seven of wands in some cards is about standing up for yourself uh, against what's stressing you, against all the things that's uh, reaching for your attention and say no. Uh, and the monkey is about to do that. So uh, <laughs> it's like sometimes you can feel you have a lot of responsibilities, so you don't have time to, you know, die uh, every day. Uh, but uh, then you might get sick or something and uh, you have all the time in the world to just uh, die every day. So... Um, going into the wall like literally going not literally but with this that people does with having stress uh, different stress disorders um, they can't get out of bed uh, because they are so uh, they have run into this brick wall so many times want to get into paradise but can't want to get into paradise but can't and then um they can't rise up and they can't run into this wall again because they are exhausted. They can't even go to their work. They can't do breakfast. Uh, so here, uh, that's a beautiful moment because then you have time <clears throat> to feel all your deaths. And then eventually you will be able to come into paradise because you have purged yourself. You have collected all your lost soul parts so you can take yourself through this birth canal into this uh, uh, evol evolved state of, of human humankind. And here we have transformation, so that's die before you die. So it seems like uh, Sagittarius, you have been running into this brick wall. And now uh, finally comes uh, the valley of death. Uh, so the valley of death, it can sound very scary. It's uh, the dark night of the soul. Uh, and um, uh, it's not scary. It's your liberation. Uh, so uh, be grateful. Uh, it will probably destroy parts of your life. Uh, things that you are not supposed to do anymore because you're about to do a change of direction, a change of course. Uh, so all jobs that didn't work for you, old friendship that didn't work for you, old relationships that didn't work for you, uh, they will be sacrificed uh, because you need to let go of control. Uh, and you have been avoiding pain, for example, staying in a bad relationship for avoiding the pain. Uh, the pain that you might feel when you leave the relationship might not be the pain that you actually have now, but the pain from all these past lives when you had to do exactly the same or when this person left you or when they died or when you died from them. And so this is what you're feeling. This is what you're avoiding. So you have been trying to control the situation and stay with it. But when you sacrifice it, uh, you accept also all these memories and um, this is going to heal you because all these um, uh, things that you did here, all these different lives, they were to give you experience. But if you never accept the pain, you won't accept the knowledge. Then the, the pain is kind of the Akasha Chronicles, the book of knowledge. And the pain isn't, we have just learned that pain is something bad. But if you, f if you learn uh, about your emotions, you will see that uh, pain is... Um, um, pain might feel as love. Well, it's the same vibration. It's just the, a little bit different frequencies. Uh, so uh, the sadness, uh, you might sometimes love someone so much that you cry. And it's kind of the same. It's sorrow almost. Love is almost like sorrow. Uh, so it's this homage to loving a person so much. So we have just been taught, domesticated, um, yes, conditioned to believe that pain is something awful but it's just uh, it's like a beacon it's like a lighthouse it wants to have your attention and therefore it's strong energies and you have um, stayed in the darkness and refused to go to the lighthouse and now you're called in uh, whether you like it or not and you need to go uh, to the lighthouse mm? uh, so you will be in total darkness uh, for a while because you need to sacrifice things that were not really you uh, and here in the darkness, you will find yourself and you will find the door to the true you. Uh, so, and for some of you, it might be that some person um, have, that has been very controlling and lying and maybe deceiving you is not, you can't continue with them. And you feel like um, you don't want to sacrifice, even though they haven't been the nicest person to lose them is like the worst part but it's not it's just you have been procrastinating this what you really need to do um this with welcoming home all your 
parts and rise like bird phoenix from the ashes there. So, and the divine will be there to guide you. Uh, so they want to be there for you. And um, uh, three of pentacles is always cooperation. So also these people that seems to be adversaries in your life are put there just to have you run into the brick walls 10,000 times if, um, until you can't run anymore because you are supposed to change um, the style of your life. If you would have found like a job or a person or something where you have uh, there haven't been any resistance you would not been able to learn this what the divine wants to teach you now and you wouldn't have the ability to evolve you have been given a great gift uh, uh, of being able to evolve and step into a higher consciousness of man uh, and you're part of a beautiful soul group uh, that wants to make it happen so you're not alone even if you feel alone you're not uh, millions of people are doing this together with you and uh, all your helpers and uh, divine uh, spiritual beings are there to guide you through this so you you're not alone okay you see this you are being guided here uh, to um, divine is taking control here and you have none because um, you are exhausted on the floor uh, and here we have integration and it's the alchemist card and they come in the reverse you're, so you're going to have to uh, do this thing that you have had so much problem with like loving a person that's not longer there uh, loving a person that doesn't love you back um, um, wanting something that you don't have and uh, all these things need to be able to be in you in the same time and here we have uh, the eagle and the swan so it's a little bit uh, a little bit uh, symbol for uh, bird uh, phoenix but it's also uh, Scorpio and transformation and the different parts of you. Um, uh, Jesus, for example, he said, um, forgive them. Uh, like if they come uh, and ask for forgiveness five times a day, you still need to forgive them. But he also said that you should uh, tell them what they did wrong. And then if they come back, you forgive them. Most people forget to tell what they see. Like they don't use their wisdom. They only use this um, forgiveness yes I forgive you whatever you've done I forgive you I forgive you I forgive you and you forget to use to tell the lesson to, to teach the wisdom I don't like when you are doing that it f makes me feel like this they might not um, hear it the first 10,000 times you say it <laughs> but you're still obliged to use your wisdom to share your wisdom to tell what it is that you know and not being like this politician and pretend like um, like you don't see what you are seeing uh, so this is 14 and it's uh, this was the first card this is the last card uh, one plus four is five uh, so this is about uh, social things and culture how we learn things the spiritual sadhana through our relationships work relationship love relationship family between children and parents between friends uh, all these kind of relationships is very spiritual uh, it's high spiritual teaching when we can mirror ourselves in someone else and see our decides that we are currently blocking so for Sagittarius it might be that you have been such a beautiful creator so you want to create so much abundance in your life that you forget about uh, you forget about uh, the obstacles. You don't want to see the truth. You just want to see. Uh, you want to see the dream, and the dream becomes a little bit like infected, and it becomes like a work instead. And you're trying to drag people along, but they don't want to come along with you. Uh, actually, they are <laughs> working a little bit against you uh, with these uh, here. But um, it's just so you won't rush. And you won't run uh, so hard into the brick wall. Uh, so I will read uh, the center card for you. And it became the control card. So There is a time and place for control. But if we put it in charge of our lives, we end up totally rigid. The figure is encased in the angles of a pyramid shapes that surround him. Light glitters and glints of his shiny surfaces, but does not penetrate. It's as if he is almost mummified inside his, this structure he's built up around himself. 
His, um, his fists are clenched and his stare is blank, almost blind. The lower part of his body beneath the table is a knife point, a cutting edge that divides and separates. His world is ordered and perfect, but it's not alive. He cannot allow any spontaneously or spontaneity or vulnerability to enter. The image of the king of clouds reminds us to take a deep breath, loosen our neckties and take it easy. If mistakes happen, it's okay. If things get a little out of hand, it's probably just what the doctor ordered. There is much, much more uh, to life than being on top of things. Uh, so uh, the King of Swords uh, came to me in a series of dreams. I had him uh, obviously buried uh, in uh, um, <laughs> underneath my daughter's daycare center. <laughs> so it was a lot of FBI agents and uh, archaeologists and stuff that was there digging him up. And in a series of dreams, eventually he was underneath a bank. And um, there I was able to come behind the bank and into the catacombs and, and meet with him. He was in a coffin and he was mummified. Uh, so uh, I just touched the coffin uh, and I felt uh, a lot of sadness, but also a lot of love towards this person. And um, uh, this uh, entity has uh, freaked me out because I, I haven't been able to really have boundaries in, in my life. Um, I was really scared about this entity because he kind of forced me to end a lot of relationships because if I didn't put up with the person's uh, actions, uh, I just ended things. Uh, first I put up with him, I put up with him, put up with him, and then I ended things. Um, so he scared me literally to death. Uh, but he is kind of uh, the eagle here that you see. So it's your wisdom and your ability to have judgment. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you always are the judge or you're just the judge. You are yin and yang. So sometimes you are the swan, sometimes you are the judge and you are both in the same time. It's just that uh, different things comes out because you are a, a unity, you are a whole. Uh, so you can say, I don't like this because this is what I see. And the person tells their story and you use your empathy to understand them and to see things from their point of view as well. Uh, so you always communicate yourself uh, and um, uh, he is great with boundaries and he is great with telling you when you are at the wrong place, doing the wrong thing with the wrong people and you might be scared of him because then you need to end things. Uh, but if you let him uh, take over a little bit, uh, he will do this uh, not annually and just, you know, and your relationships so but instead in a day-to-day -day basis and you will step into your full strength and be this um, guardian uh, for yourself and be able to let like the good guys uh, inside to your beautiful inner feng shui garden and keep the bad ones out okay uh, so that's the song uh, I will put it in the description box but it's kind of the other way around I kept the uh, um, I took the good, bad ones in and kept the good ones out. But you are supposed to do the other way around. And why uh, this person in the song didn't do that was because they missed this person. So they had to go on the outside to find them. They had to go uh, on the outside to find this kind of person that had these strict boundaries. So you might have a person in your life uh, that is like this, like very strict, uh, doesn't have a life below their waist. So it, they are kind of like an extreme, showing you something that you lack, that you need to become a little bit more logic maybe, a little bit more strict or the other way around that you need to let life into your life it, it depends on what end on the yin and yang you are uh, i needed more boundaries i needed to use my boundaries on a day-to-day -day basis uh, another person might need to use their heart on a day-to-day -day basis uh, so i will also read uh, the spiritual message because the first is like commentary and here is like a little bit deeper uh, can be sometimes a little bit harder to understand uh, so, controlled people are always nervous because deep down, turmoil is still hidden. If you are uncontrolled, flowing, uh, alive, then you are not nervous. There is no question of being nervous. Whatsoever happens, happens. You have no expectation for the future. You are not performing. Then why should you be nervous? Uh, to control that mind, one has to remain so cold and frozen that no life energy is allowed to move into your limbs, into your body. If energy is allowed to move, those repressions will surface. 
That's why people have learned how to be cold, how to touch others and yet not touch them, how to see people and yet not see them. People live with cliches, hello, how are you? Nobody means anything. These are just to avoid the real encounter of two persons. People don't look into each other's eyes. They don't hold hands. They don't try to feel each other's energy. They don't allow each other to pour. Very afraid somehow just managing cold and dead in a straight jacket. Uh, so that was uh, <laughs> what I told you before with this um, whatever happens happens. Uh, you don't mind what happens. That's kind of the biggest spiritual teaching and you can't change it if you can't change a thing uh, why be upset about it uh, why worry about things uh, three months before they happen or three days before they happen sometimes the body can be in this kind of restraint and then we need to help it and just say to it it's fine uh, okay we can relax it's not today we are not going there for until it's three days from now so try to take a breath uh, deep, uh, deep breath, stay with the body. Uh, so also these things is going to heal your trauma. Um, when you do things, um, uh, you have stage fright, for example, uh, go on stage because then you really have a doorway to your uh, <laughs> to your pain and to your inner garden. So go on stage, feel uh, like have a panic attack in front of people, uh, faint in front of them and stay with yourself all the time. I'm just kidding, of course, but um, you can go closer and closer to this event of standing on stage or doing this nervous thing. And eventually it will be everyday food for you and you will have digest the pain of it all because maybe the state fright came uh, from you being decapitated in uh, um, this, what, what I said, 1232. And, um, and of course you have straight fright. <laughs> yes, you think you are going to die. Uh, and you don't have to uh, feel this way for the next thousand years to come if you stay and digest it. Okay, stay and digest it. Uh, so, uh, I hope this will help. Um, I probably have to take a Wild Kuan Jin Oracle as well. I wanted to make this reading short, but it's uh, obviously not up to me. Okay. Uh, Priestess of Perfect Pairing makes the match. 37. There. Okay. Um, it's... I see the true nature of all beings and bring to them the perfect match so that the journey of love may be experienced. Those currently in your life and those just now entering your world are there by my design. Ask for me to show you the purpose behind the pairing and you shall learn to trust in my wisdom and compassion. You are now blessed with my loving grace in all matters of relationships and connections. Surrender any issue with, uh, within relationships to me and I shall intervene to create the perfect pairing. Uh, so you are already perfectly paired, even if you are with a person that doesn't want to let you into their lives uh, because uh, you needed to teach, uh, be taught all this. Uh, so uh, everything is perfect. Uh, you don't have to fix anything. You just have to find yourself. So my dear Sagittarius, uh, take really good care and I welcome you back to my um, beginning of May reading that I will do in the middle of April. Okay, bye bye.